So today we have an interesting trigonometric equation that has to be simplified. The equation is 8 sin cube of 20 degree minus 6 times of sin 20 degree. Now when we look at this equation it looks very simple but what makes it difficult is sin 20 degree. Now most of us when we see this kind of equation what we thought is to calculate sin of 20 degree separately and then put that thing in this equation so as to simplify this thing. But that's the wrong method because sin 20 degree is not an easy task. It can be calculated or cannot, I don't know, but it is going to be a lengthy process, I know this much thing. So what should we do to simplify this thing? So the only method remains is use of trigonometric identities and simplification tools. So just keep calm and take the equation that is 8 sin cube of 20 degrees minus 6 times sin 20 degree. Now first thing that we should do is observation. So when we observe this particular equation, what we see is that from both of these terms 8 sin cube of 20 degrees and 6 times sin 20 degrees we can take out 2 times sin 20 degree as common because 8 and 6 comes in the table of 2 and the first term contains sin cube 20 and the second term is only sin 20 so we can simply take out 2 times sin 20 common so inside the bracket it is going to remain 4 times sin square 20 degree minus 3 now over here the outside bracket that is 2 times sin 20 it's very simple Inside the bracket, it is sin square 20 degrees, so we are going to break it down using a trigonometric identity. So remember the universal trigonometric identity that is sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. Give this equation. Now the second universal identity I should say that is cosine of a plus b is equals to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Now what if I take a and b equals to theta? So on the left hand side we will have cos of theta plus theta that is 2 theta. So cos 2 theta equals to. Now cos a cos b will turn out to be cos theta cos theta that is cos square theta minus sin square theta. Sin a sin b a and b turn out to be theta and theta. So it turns out to be sin square theta. So what we have now is cosine of 2 theta equals to cos square theta minus sin square theta. This can be also taken as an identity. It would be helpful. Now remember the universal identity that is sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. So from this particular equation the value of cos square theta is 1 minus sin square theta. Now remember this particular equation that we just derived that is cosine of 2 theta equals to cos square theta minus sin square theta. In this particular equation the cos square theta can be replaced with its value that we got above that is 1 minus sin square theta. So when we put this particular value over here we finally get cosine of 2 theta equals to 1 minus 2 times sin square theta. So here we got that particular relation that we were looking for. Now you might be thinking that yes all okay about the universal identity sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. What about the second one that is cos of a plus b equals to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. So if you want the proof of this particular identity do comment below it's very interesting using the geometrical method. Okay. So now what we got let us move forward to it that is cosine of 2 theta equals to 1 minus 2 times sin square theta. Now if we just isolate sin square theta on one of the side, we will get sin square theta equals to 1 minus cosine of 2 theta upon 2. Now we can simply replace theta with 20 degree. So on the left hand side we will have sin square 20 degree and on the right hand side we will have 1 minus cos of 40 degree upon 2. Now the main term that was present in the original equation was 4 times sin square 20 degree. And here what we have got is the value of sin square 20 degree. So we can simply multiply 4 on both of the side. So the left hand side will turn out to be 4 times sin square 20 degree. And on the right hand side we will have from the table of 2 it goes to therefore 2 minus 2 times cos of 40 degree. So here we got the particular relation 4 times sin square 20 degree into something else that is 2 minus 2 times cos of 40 degree. Now we will replace this value in our original equation. So now our original equation will turn out to be 2 times sin 20 degree that we have taken common inside the bracket 2 minus 2 times cos of 40 degree minus 3. Now 2 minus 3 turn out to be negative 1. So what we have inside bracket is now negative 2 times cos 40 degree and negative 1. So we will just take this negative as a common outside all of the thing. So the negative sign a square complete bracket and inside the bracket 2 times sin 20 degree the round bracket. 1 plus 2 times cos of 40 degree. Now we will simply open this bracket. Now wait a minute. You might be thinking that over there sin square 20 degree was there and the universal identity we can just replace sin square 20 degree with 
1 minus cos square 20 degree. But that would not be okay because while simplifying this kind of equation, try to just remove the squares and the cubes from these trigonometric values because there are very nice identities of multiplication of two of these trigonometric identities sin a into sin b cos a into cos b sin a into cos b these identities are very nice and as soon as a square comes over there like sin a into cos square b it all goes very messy nothing would be there so i just try to remove that square with a simple term that was cos 40 degree okay so now what we currently have is negative of 2 times sin 20 degree multiplied with 1 plus 2 times cos 40 degree so now just simply open the bracket so now when we open the bracket, the negative sign as it is, the square brackets and now inside it would be 2 times sine of 20 degree into 1. So 2 times sine 20 degree as it is plus 2 into 2, 4 times sine 20 degree into cos 40 degree. Now as I told you, there are very nice identities for multiplication of trigonometric ratios. So here we go. The identity is 2 times sine of A into cos of B equals to sine of A plus B plus sin of a minus b now don't ask me the proof of this particular identity because it would be a lengthy thing we'll discuss it in the next video do comment below if you want its proof so remember this particular identity 2 times sin a cos b equals to sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b now if we replace a as equals to 20 degree and b as equals to 40 degree the left hand side will turn out to be 2 times sin 20 cos 40 equals to now on the right hand side we will have sin of 20 plus 40 that's 60 degree plus sine of 20 minus 40 that's negative 20. Now sine of negative angle becomes negative sine of that angle. So plus sine of negative 20 degree will turn out to be negative sine 20 degree. So now we have got the value of 2 times sine 20 cos 40 equals to sine of 60 degree minus sine of 20 degree. Okay. So now let us replace this value of 2 times sine 20 cos 40 in this main equation. So the negative sign as it is the square brackets. 2 times sine 20 degree plus now here we were having 4 times sine 20 cos 40 and what we have got answer is for 2 times sine 20 cos 40 so a single 2 will remain over here and again putting a bracket and inside this the new value that was sine of 60 degree minus sine of 20 degrees now opening the bracket with 2 therefore 2 times sine 60 degree minus 2 times sine 20 degree now look carefully positive 2 times sine 20 degree and negative 2 times sine 20 degree both of them got cancelled out so what we finally have is the negative sine and 2 times sine 60 degree now we all know the value of sine 60 degree that is square root of 3 upon 2 therefore negative 2 multiplied with square root of 3 upon 2 that's negative square root of 3 and that's the answer that we were looking for look carefully that the value sine 20 degree very precisely got cancelled out in this particular step so no need to calculate it all we need is just help of trigonometric identities and the best way to choose them so we finally got the answer to our equation that 8 times sine cube 20 degree minus 6 times sine 20 degree is equals to negative square root of 3